Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my hood. It's a new month, so we have a new Witch's Moon box. Mm -hmm. And um, just so y'all know, this is probably going to be the last Witch's Moon box for like a month or two because it's Corona time and I'm trying to save some money. Okay, so this is the April box. Um, where the book shadows aren't working? Oh, there we go. <coughs> me, 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 me. Ooh, the oracle card. It's the stone is blue lace, a gate. Or I say eye gate. I don't know why, but I say eye gate. I'm sorry. And it says, speak the truth, listen well, have the courage to say what you need to say, be heard, read between the lines. Hmm. And then on this side it says, it is easy for me to express myself. I'm understood. I hear what others are communicating. The universe is probably telling me that I need to listen to people. You know? All right. <laughs> So, in our handy dandy pamphlet, um, it says that this month's box is called the Witch's Talisman Empowerment. So, we have a sigil. Is this a sigil? This looks like some Asian work. Oh, there's four of them. Okay, yeah, they're many sigils. They're not Asian. So it says, we have included a set of inspired sigils to be included with your pouch when working to incorporate protection, grounding, healing, or protection. They said protection twice. In your rituals. These sigils have been sized so that they can fit within your talisman pouch and can also be placed upon your altar within your book of shadows or within your book of shadows. So we got this one. We have, I don't know how, I think it goes like this. This one. I'm pretty sure it's like that. Um, this and this and those are the little four sigils that we got working that we're working with mm -hmm. what you're working with all right I'm gonna put this back in here ever so carefully okay it's been two minutes three minutes already hello okay and then we got um, ooh, oh, okay, so these are the Book of Shadows artwork that go with the sigils that I just showed y'all, so I'm going to whip them babies back out, and I'm going to show you. So the first one that I see is called Healing, <clears throat> this is a healing sigil, see? And um, it says, nothing ever goes away until it has taught us what we need to know. Wow. My mind is brilliant, my body is healthy, and my soul is tranquil. And it has the stones that correspond with it, botanicals, talismans, um, oils, animals, magical beings, and... It shows you what's practiced. The element, the celestial influences, weekdays, colors, and metals. So just the correspondences that go with that. That's cute. I love this. Okay. Prosperity. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is the prosperity sigil. Do you see that? It's very cute. And it says, I am prosperous, healthy, happy, and live in abundance. Yes, ma'am. Positive thinking and positive attitudes attract prosperity, peace, and happiness. It also exposes us to the path of achievement and success. And it has all the um, correspondences also. That is beautiful. I am loving this. Cute. Okay. And this is the grounding sigil. You see? Grounding. And it says... I am connected deeply to the earth and her medicine. Earth mama medicine. Mm -hmm. And it says, in the vessel of your body, you yourself are the world tree. 
deep roots in the earth and a crown of stars, your essence bridges dimensions. And I think that's beautiful. Where's my telephone? Oh, it's right here. Okay. And then the last one is protection. And it goes like this. Alright, and protection says... I am my home and my refuge. I am always guided and protected. The ache for home lives in all of us. The safe place where we can go as we are and not be questioned. By Maya Angelou. I like that. That was deep. Okay. So, and we got some herbs here that I am seeing. We got some galangala, galangal root. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to just read what that is real fast because <laughs> your girl don't know. Galangala. Um, it's, this potent root has been relied upon to enhance protection and prosperity spells during times of quick help and manifestation. Place the root within your spell talisman pouch, which is working to promote protection and draw financial security. Okay, into your immediate realities. Yes, ma'am. We're going to put that to the side because we need some of that. We got eucalyptus, and everybody knows what eucalyptus is. Hopefully, if you don't, then you need some help. Um, this is to provide you with a potent source of healing energy. And that's all I'm going to read because it's eucalyptus, you know? And we got some lemon peel. This is the lemon peel. And they sent me orange peel one time, and I remember. Um... Okay, this is to enhance your awareness and your craft, foster relationships with those you love and hold to hold in high esteem. Yep, and also to bring clarity during times of confusion, which is beautiful, beautiful. And this is a box. We have a box. This box has um, a feather on it. This is how the box looks. And I'm guessing this is my talisman because they're talking about talisman and I haven't opened the talisman yet. So, spell, talisman pouch, and feather of bravery. Yeah. So, this is the feather of bravery. Thank you, bird, for um, sacrificing one of your feathers for me. I hope you're not dead. And if you are dead, thank you for letting me use your feather. And... So, ooh, I feel like I'm in olden times, like I got some mail. This is cute! Okay. Y'all, look at this pouch. <gasps> this pouch. Oh my gosh, look it. <gasps> ooh. Wow. Ooh. And, oh, you could use it as like a. A little purse thing, you yeah. know. It's like, hello, look at my talisman pouch, beach. But I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna wear it like that. I'm just gonna stick it inside my purse because there's something in here. Or maybe I'm tripping. I'm probably tripping. Yeah, I'm tripping. All right. But and it has like a stone on it. I'm gonna close the back so y'all can see. It does have the triple goddess sign on there. Mother maiden in chrome. And then we got um, a crystal right there. And I'm going to read it to you. We have included this beautiful hand-sewn spell talisman pouch with the protection to assist you in enhancing your magical abilities. This very tool has been created with the intention of bringing forth special energies into your reality. Magical pouches and bags have been used throughout many cultures for many generations as well as a way to foster specific energies such as protection, healing, prosperity, and grounding. As with any magical tool that you hold sacred to your practice, this pouch was carefully created so that you may instill your personal energies. As you use and work with this pouch, be careful to keep your intentions intimate and sacred to your personal path and ambitions. And so to the flap is a quartz crystal to provide you with any other... With, to provide you with another way to program your intentions. Um, they added this triple goddess sign, the divine goddess, to enhance your magical abilities. 
and all that other good stuff. It says hang your pouch near your altar. You could wear it during a ritual or simply place in an area of your home where you want the energies to flow. That is beautiful! I love it! It's so pretty. I love it. Okay. Ooh, girl, we got the spray, friend. What is the spray smelling like this time? Because, y'all, I'm almost... Ooh, healing light or a spray. I'm almost out of my Luna spray because that was, that was the bomb. That was like the first one that they've made, I think. And it was great. I used it last night for the pink full moon. And it smells good. Mm-hmm. And as per usual, it comes with a lid or a nozzle like this. Oh, and they actually made it the right size this time. I don't have to cut the straw. Beautiful! Let's spray her! Mm-hmm. Y'all smell that? Smells like goodness! That smells great. Okay, so I'm gonna read you what it say. Hold on. Healing Light Ritual Spray. Um, it has oils of eucalyptus, lavender, rosemary, chamomile, clary, sage, and a special mixture of their blessings magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. And it's, it's you use it to re-energize your perspective on the world around you, allowing you to refocus and practice to bring light into your surroundings. And it comes with the affirmation, but I'm not gonna, I might as well say the affirmation. It says, as you see the world, so it is. That's kind of, you, I hope you see the world very well, because if not, then you're going to have a problem. Okay, and we got water medicine. This is what it's called, water medicine. And we're about to smell. Mmm, smells a little minty and earthy. Okay, and it has, what does it have in it? Um, we got some lemon and rose oil in there, and ground sage, green tea, and peppermint leaf herbs. That was the mint that I smelled. I'm getting good at this smelling stuff. Mixture from our waterfall magical oil. It's good. That smells good. I used my other one from last month, last night, during the full moon, and it was great. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, we have a crystal. Hello? Crystal. Crystal. Okay. Um, ooh, wow, look. This is a beautiful blue. Do y'all see that? That is beautiful. It's called the Angel Light Palm Stone. It says, a wonderful spirit communicator. Ooh. Um, stone. Angel Light provides us with the ability to connect with guides, angels, and ancestors while working to find answers during divination or to simply receive confirmation during times of difficult decision making. This Angel Light Palm Stone is perfect shape to place on your, upon your chakra centers. Hold during times of uncertainty, uncertainty or set up pawn, tarot, and oracle decks to charge when you're not in use. The affirmation is, I am connected with my guides, clearing my vision so that I may receive signs, symbols, and confirmations. I love it! It's beautiful! Hello? Beautiful. Okay. And then we're gonna bust out this oil real fast. I'm trying to make this fast. Last time it was fast, but this time I guess not, because I'm being slow. Okay, this is called, I don't even know. Oh. Air Mid Anointing Oil. Ooh, and I can see the crystal in it. Is this selenite in there? Is that what that is? I can't see, really. But this is the oil. The oils are always so beautiful. I'm showing you the back because you can actually see what's going on in there. And the oil. It says it has lavender, lemon, and rosemary oils. And they included some lemon peel, eucalyptus leaves, and lavender buds. And it's nice. And you can use it to enchant things. Oh, just kidding. They use enchanted lullaby oil with it. And it's good. What kind of crystal is in here? I think it's selenite. Let me see. The Lumerin Quartz. That's what it is. A Lumerin Quartz. 
I don't think I've ever seen the Lumeran Quartz before. And I can't see it because it's in the oil mixed with the herbs. But beautiful stuff. Okay. And then we got some incense called Lavender and Power Man. And a girl loves lavender. A queen loves lavender, you guys. So. Uh, it says the power this this powerful incense was included with this collection burned during times of disconnection yep and then we got last but not least we got our candles and it's a twin set this time what color are we working with today i'm trying y'all i'm trying i know it's i know it's, we're getting to the 20 mark point <gasps> been a theme this is beautiful twin hand rolled in beeswax thank you bees and these look like ocean like beautiful not texas water because that shit is disgusting but it looks like beautiful florida water the florida water is a dark blue but this looks like pure beautiful water you know like water in mexico or something that is beautiful and it comes with this it says upon wings of health it says among the moonlight the fluttering eyes i ask to share the great divine one flame for you as the other to bring my bright of passion carry to you from me uh, although unseen and not here now i cast intentions of healing towards you to be found among the moonlight the fluttering eyes i ask to break the great divine so mode it be that is beautiful and that's all i have for y'all for this april's witches moon box okay it was beautiful i loved everything as per usual 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 but like i said it's corona time and your girl has to save money so unless y'all want to just send me your box for free and um you know i'll review it like i keep like i've been doing I would enjoy that, but probably, y'all probably not going to do that. But, um, just know that I do enjoy it. And I enjoy everything that y'all send me. Everything is great. Nothing has ever been broken in my box. One time I broke my own candle, but that's because I was trying to unwrap it, and I'm sorry. But, um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I've been getting comments that y'all are actually enjoying it. So, I'm, 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 anyway, I love y'all. Peace out. Peace out.